purple penguins. I don't know, you guys Hi, I'm Katie Minocci, I'm a junior. I'm Jillian Herrera, I'm a senior. I'm Rebecca Onkin, I'm a junior. I'm Judy Patterson, I'm a sophomore, and we're from West High School. You're the mom! And the title of our poem is Born in Pink. This is the before when stereotype was just a really long word. Our bodies were normal. Pink clothes were companions. This is the time when culture taught us how to be so, so soft. This is the before when we were learning and perfect. Just the way we were. I always wanted to be a princess. I watched Disney movies like, like they were gospel. I learned to dance across the living room floor clad in a Cinderella dress I wore for ho four Halloweens. I twirled around, slipping on the carpet and colliding with couches, but I didn't care. I was Cinderella! I was bright! And silly! And golden! I learned to be a girl christened in, in pink tones! And princess lessons. They drowned me in pink, but suffocation could never keep me from adventure. Each, Each Sunday, Sunday was a thrill. My best friend and I had competitions. Every week, I heated. I did better. I would go home in a mud splattered dress with gaping holes, but it wore my family down. I couldn't help but feel my mom was disappointed. I was her baby girl. Maybe I needed to act like it. Pick a side. I sat between the girls and guys. I joined the boys. But when the sign, my PE teacher pointed to the girls, my feet felt like they were stuck, stuck to the, the ground. I said, no, he grabbed my arm and dragged me to the side I was born to. Dysphoria. He called me into the locker rooms where I couldn't bring myself to change in front of others. I could never follow the rules of, of either side. side. So <laughs> This feeling of nerves was not unfamiliar to me. It couldn't be hidden from the classroom of boys. I, I was about to join. join. And all I could think about is how I have to be just, just as good as them. No! I have to be better. I didn't want failure to be slapped across my forehead for all to see. My entire existence, existence whittled down, down to a smile and a laugh. But that's not why I'm here. I'm here to make a table. I will stain and finish what I started. This is the after, a place where we learn the hard way, where we rebel. Conform. Where we feel tired of fighting to get past what, what everyone wants us to be because we are here and we are enough. And can't you see it? I am a redwood. Spiraling lumber limbs in deep roots, roots digging into the earth. Despite me changing, I'm still a girl. I never needed to pick a side, although born in pink, I walk in. I am done forcing myself into someone I don't want to be. And you know what? My mom has not once been disappointed in who I am. I was guilty because I conformed to the classic form of woman. I don't want to be a princess anymore, but I can be a girl. We can be who we want to be. A girl can marry a prince. A girl can be a boy. A girl can march on Washington. A girl can be president. Though we are born in pink, we are stronger than any color. Alone we may seem small. Together, we can take down walls. Yeah.